and welcome, I'm your code monkey. So do you know that Unity is actually turning 20 this year? It's crazy to think how it's actually been around for so long. Some of you might already know the story, but some of you might not know. Unity actually started as a game developer. They worked on their first game called Gubo. This was one of those physics ball games. Move it around, rotate the ball, rotate the world, and play around with all kinds of objects. It was a decent game, pretty basic, but decent for 2005. They published a the game and the game didn't really do too well, which I guess is relatable to a lot of Unity devs, a lot of Unity devs nowadays. But they realized that the engine they built to build the game, the engine was more valuable than the game itself. So yep, that's when they transitioned to making an engine as opposed to a game. They published Unity 1.0 back in 2005. And back then, it was actually only available for Mac. Only later on, only on version 2.5. Only then did they add editor support for Windows. Now, for me personally, I found Unity all the way back in the Unity 3 days, back in 2012. I think it was the only free engine at the time, so that's part of the reason why I picked it. It was capable of making PC builds and use C Sharp, which was a language that I already liked, so yep, this was perfect for making Steam games. They kept working on the engine, and now here we are 20 years later in 2025, and the engine is better than ever. Unity is actually doing a bunch of stuff this year to celebrate the 20th anniversary. There will be the Unite conference in Barcelona later this month. I will be there myself and it should be a pretty fun event. I wonder if they're going to do anything special for this anniversary. And Unity sponsored this video to let you know they are indeed doing something special, the Unity Official Game Jam. This one is going to be a 48 hour jam from November 7th to November 9th. The theme is going to be announced November 7th at 5 p.m. UTC. That's 9 a.m. Pacific. And as part of this jam, they actually did something pretty fun. They basically remastered a whole bunch of assets from the many, many previous years of Unity. If you've been using Unity for a long time, you might recognize some of these assets. There's some random stuff, there's an apocalyptic town, there's some nice rain assets. Then if you had a nice character in a nice little fantasy world, if you got a bunch of humanoid characters, then a nice little robot lab, if you got a nice stealth mission, there's a nice party pack and a nice 2D platformer and 2D sprites pack. So if you've been using Unity for many, many years, you might recognize some of these. You can download these assets for free and use them in your project. And if you use those assets, you can be considered for this prize, the most creative use of Unity anniversary assets. And this one, you've got some nice prizes. So you get featured on the Unity livestream, you get a bunch of one-year Unity Pro licenses, and a nice little swag bag, including a nice little hat. And beyond that, there's actually some other free assets. So you can get, for example, Odin. You can get one month of free Odin license. They actually recently updated Odin to have a nice visual designer. That looks like a really nice tool. Odin itself is already really awesome, so with this, it seems to be even better. You can get this for free. Basically, this is a nice tool for helping you make edited tools. Then you've got UModeler X. So if you want to basically do 3D modeling directly inside Unity, again, this one you can also get a 45-day free trial. Then you've got the Overdrive toolset. Honestly, I don't know this one, but based on screenshots over here, it does seem to be basically a nice collection of tools. So if you can get all of these nice assets for free, and go ahead, check the link in the description to join the game jam. I won't be joining this jam myself. It's actually been many years since I last joined the jam, so this should be fun. I won't be in live streaming the development, so either join me on the jam, or just watch the live streams to see what I'm doing. And if this is your first game jam, here are some nice quick tips. So first of all, the best tip of all is really keep your scope small. This is definitely a super important tip and pretty much the most important tip for making game jams. You have to remember you only have 48 hours. That is not a lot of time. So definitely don't think that you can make a massive RPG in this amount of time. It is always, always much better to make a game that is much smaller in scope, that has basically just one or two mechanics, but those mechanics are very nicely polished. That is much better as opposed to making something with like a dozen mechanics, but all of them are really rough around the edges. And remember how it's pretty natural to basically always come up with a bigger scope than you actually can do. So when trying to keep your scope small, try to come up with something that you think is small and then cut it even further, because chances are what you think is small is actually going to be pretty big. So come up with something, cut it in half, and then it might be good enough to do in 48 hours. The second great tip is pretty much don't take the theme too seriously. So the theme is really just meant as a rough guide, just a nice guideline to guide you as to what kind of game you should be making, but you can interpret the theme in many different ways. So don't stress out and feel that you need to 100% match the theme. As long as it's roughly related, you're perfectly fine. Then the third tip is something which is awesome that previously used to be against the rules, but nowadays thankfully no longer is, which is make sure you reuse codes and assets. Previously, like five years ago, whenever there was a game jam, there was always a rule that you cannot reuse code and assets. But thankfully for the past few years, that rule has changed. People now see the benefit of reusing assets and code, which to me, that is something that is very important. That is something that I constantly talk about over here on this channel. I always talk about how you should write high quality, good, clean code so that you can basically just write something once and then reuse it multiple times to make yourself much more efficient. So thankfully, yep, over here on this one, you can reuse assets and code. So you can use that to basically get something really nice up and running much faster than doing it yourself from scratch every single time. Now for myself, I will obviously be using my own asset, the CodeMonkey Toolkit. This is basically a collection of nice utilities that I've been building myself for the past 10 years. It has helped me out a ton, so it will definitely help me out a lot in this game jam. I'm also going to be using Hot Reload. This is a really great iteration tool, and again, when the time frame is so short, 48 hours, being able to iterate much faster, that is going to be a massive bonus. Another one I will be using is Feel. This is a really excellent tool for polishing your games. 
And like I said, on the game jam, you really want to have fewer mechanics, but have them really nicely polished. So a tool like this really helps. Another polish tool is Text Animator. This one is really great for easily adding a little bit of polish anytime you have some kind of text. So if you have these tools, I highly recommend you use them to make your game even better. And if you don't have them, actually in a bunch of weeks, there's going to be Black Friday. So maybe pick up these tools then, and then next year you can join this game jam and use these really awesome tools to make something awesome. So yep, if this is your first game jam, I encourage you to listen to these tips. So keep the scope small, don't take the theme too seriously, make sure to reuse S and code. And of course, the final tip, the best of all, really just have fun. Game jams are mostly about fun and of course learning. So make sure you're learning something and just have fun building something interesting. Don't stress too much. Whether this is your first game jam or your 20th game jam, really just build something and have fun. And who knows, maybe you might make something that in the future becomes a super successful game. For example, there are all kinds of games that spawn out of the GMTK game jam. All of these games, Road Drone, Tether Guys, Boomerang X, all of these games are pretty successful and all of these started from the GMTK game jam. So yep, you can definitely use this jam to try out some kind of prototype, some kind of idea that you have. And if it does well in the jam, then maybe consider spending the next three to six months turning that into a fully fledged game. But anyways, just enjoy yourself. The game jam, that one is happening this weekend. So check out the link in the description to join. Personally, I'm looking forward to joining it myself. It should be a lot of fun. Oh, and by the way, just another quick mention. Unity has actually just announced the nominees for the Unity Awards. And I actually got some nominations. Honestly, these kinds of things really help keep me motivated to keep building lots of awesome stuff to help you on your learning journey. So thanks to everyone who nominated me. And I really do hope to continue being worthy of your votes. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.